lights are there for a reason, but some motorists simply don't care. Razor TV is here at the junction of Bukit Timah Road and Scotts Road on a Friday afternoon, and we caught some 13 motorists being the red light in just one hour. According to police figures, from January to September this year, there were 13,881 red light violations detected. That is an almost 3% increase up from last year. Scotts Road was just one of five roads where the Straits Times observed drivers beating the red light often. The other four roads are Joo Chiat Road, Bradle Road, Rocho Road and Paya Lebar Road. Beating the red light is a serious traffic offence that can endanger the lives of pedestrians and fellow drivers. Take the fatal accident at Rocho Road, which claimed three lives, for example. The late Marchu crashed his Ferrari into a taxi after running a red light. Despite this high-profile case, running a red light seems to be a common offence amongst motorists in Singapore. Do you know of anybody who actually beat a red light before? My husband. <laughs> yeah, that, it, was very, it was quite some time back while we were still dating. So, uh, I, I think I was sprouting vulgarities right after he did that. I was just like, what was that about? He wasn't drinking, definitely. Uh, he wasn't high on anything. <laughs> but I, I presume it was be, must be one of those mistakes that uh, it was a very clear road and yeah, that was a huge mistake. Sometimes, uh, I think I did. Mm. So what happened after that? Did you get caught? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, actually, it's like, usually maybe sometimes it's uh, just nice past the timing and there are no cars nearby so yeah I'm always very safe <laughs> sometimes I do okay but I try to tell myself that is not right but uh, so, well sometimes we really in a rush of time you know it's just uh, I'll just do that but uh, I know it's not right a uh, small housing estate yes but not the major roads yeah but normally I don't ever try to beat the red light yeah mm. So, so far, I think my traffic record is pretty clean. <laughs> yes, I've written the red line before. So, what happened after that? Uh, I didn't get caught, so uh, I'm lucky. So, I will never beat the red line again, I guess. Mm. It's usually because, yeah, somebody tailgate me and then being a new driver, you know. According to the traffic police, running a red light will result in a $200 fine and 12 demerit points. But it seems not many drivers are up to speed with this penalty. Do you know what's the penalty for beating a red light? Uh, I have no idea. I'm not sure. 200? Uh, Six point? Vote the license. Uh, fine. I, uh, and minus point, I think. I'm not very sure. It, maybe a six points or something like that? I think I remember it's 18 points. Some concerned Singaporeans said that the penalty for running a red light should be stiffened. I suppose if it's more severe, I mean, if the fine is more heavy, uh, I, I believe it will stop more people from, from doing so. But then still, yeah, there are always people who break the rules, so you cannot uh, eliminate them totally. I think they should increase the fine, because uh, that should increase the fine to actually, you know, uh, to make them realise that it could, be, it could be worse than just beating the red light. It could anything happen. I mean, the, the, boogies, uh, the boogies incident was one of that that I feel that is very... Mm. Was, it's quite a huge impact to the majority of us, yeah. Find out what excuses drivers here have for beating the red light in our next clip.